Well, hi ho stampers. Welcome back to my studio. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness. And today I want to show you how to do a trifold house card. I call it that because it's got little points on it. It just looks to me like a little gnome house or a hobbit house, but you can use it for anything. You can use it for birthdays. You can use it for anniversaries. The possibilities are endless. So let me just show you that it does lay flat. Um, so if you want to put it in your envelope, you can lay it inside your envelope, but when they get it, they can actually take and um, stand it up onto their desk and use and look at it forever. It's just an adorable little card. So it doesn't lay flat like that because of our back part of it here, but it is so easy and I want you to give it a try. So I decided to do Christmas because it is the Christmas holiday coming up. And um, like I said, it's very easy. Let me show you a couple of the things that we're going to be using today. I love my little um, my little scallop stitch nesting ovals. These are absolutely amazing. We've got ovals, we've got circles, we've got squares, but it just lends itself to some very dainty, dainty um, uh, images, I guess I would call them. So let me just show you these. Um, see how we have the little scallops right here? I love that. I just absolutely love it. They're not the big, gaudy scallops. So, so, so pretty. All right, and I do cut out as I go along. And then we're also gonna be using a new combo in the store, okay, in our little um, teaspoon of fun shop. So hop on over there. This is called Winter Gnomes, and it comes with the paper pack and the stamp set. It's absolutely adorable. These papers are so, so cute. Um, so if you're a gnome lover, um, or even not, I mean, these could you can be used um, for other things also um, for the holidays, but it's just, um, it coordinates well with that. So we made it, made it a combo. So you get the stamp set and you get the um, papers to go along with it. So let me just show you how absolutely super easy this card is. If you hop on over to my blog, um, you'll get this free PDF with it. And um, it shows you how to cut. Um, it shows you how to fold. It's so easy. So make sure you pick that up. Um, again, just go over um, to the link above and it'll take you right there. The little eye up there on the top. There's a little eye up there. Click on that. It'll take you right to the blog post. So let's get right to it. I'm going to grab my um, things that I've already cut out because um, you all know how to cut out um, from your die cut machine. So uh, let me just show you how I cut the paper. So this was an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And I just cut it. So this is the eight and a half inch side. So what I did was I cut it at, um, right here, I cut it at six. And then I left it at this eight and a half inch, I just cut off at eight. So it actually ends up to be a six by eight piece of paper. And then next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our scoring tool and with the long side on the top, okay? So the landscape on the top, so we're gonna score it at two, four, six, and eight, like I said, all right, two, four, six, and it ends up at eight. You don't score it at eight, okay? So there's a two, four, and a six inch score right there. And now what we're gonna do is to take and put this back on here. Grab our ruler and a pencil. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking and putting the um, short stop spot on top, and I'm going to take and just make a little tick mark with a pencil at the two inch mark, okay, and at the four inch mark. So it's literally two inches up, two inches down, all right? And that's the way the directions call it, two inches up, two inches down, all right? And I'm just putting it on the last two pieces. So I put it on the last panel that I, that I scored and I put it on the first panel. You don't have to put it on the second panel. All right, so now what I'm going to do is to grab my Misty mat, and you can use anything. There's fun foam out there. There's just about anything um, that is um, like squishy like this that you want to use. You do want it to be a little bit on the firm side, but um, I use my Misty. All right, so you're going to take your ruler. So easy. Don't get nervous, okay? We're going to take our foam. We're going to put it our ruler at the point right here, and we're going to put it at the um, tick mark right up there. All right, you're going to take your um, crease tool, and you're going to just lightly crease, but enough so that it leaves the little valley inside there. All right, we're going to do the same thing here. 
We're going to take and put it to the middle score line up here to the top. And again, from the tick mark to the little center fold. All right, so we have this side done. As soon as I finish this one, we are going to go from the tick mark down to the corner. So what? as you can see, I think you can see it pretty good, up, down, up, down. So we went from this panel to the top, down to the bottom of the middle panel, top and bottom. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now we have the zigzag up on the top. We have the zigzag down there on the bottom. Let's start folding. Super easy, right? You're gonna need this, still, so keep that out. We're done with our misty pad. The first thing I want you to do is to just fold it from side to side, and you really wanna burnish these every single time you fold. Just line up your pieces here too, all right? And then this panel is gonna get back, making sure that my sides are all meeting. And back. Okay, look at this, we're almost done. Ta-da! We've done those kind of things before, right? All right, so now what we wanna do is to actually bend these back. Now let me just show you one that I've already done. So we did this, then we did this, okay? Now what we need to do is to actually do this, and this, and this, and this, all right? It's just actually pushing these sides in. So what I like to do, don't try to do the whole thing because you're gonna bend places that you don't want to. So what you're gonna do is to just kind of help it along, but don't do the whole thing. Just kind of do the ends of it to get it started, all right? So there's one, all right? I like to do it forward and then go backwards because it's gonna end up backwards, all right? Or toward the back of your card, I should say. It's not backwards. But getting it started like that is gonna help us with, with the burnishing, all right? Don't force anything yet. All right, so let's go forward like this. All right, forward and forward, and then we're gonna go backwards. All right, so there we go. All right, so they're started. Let us take now watch to make sure that your crease goes nicely right in there all right we're lining up these two points right there once you've got all those let's take and burnish Oops, let's move this out of the way all right so we're going to burnish that side see we're going to take and just fold that in there like that we can open that one up and making sure that all of your points are matching and burnish all right see how nice and crisp that is that's the way it looks so far all right we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side okay so now we have our little accordion. That is that is the whole fold of the card, all right? All right, so now we want to take and do our little pieces right here. Now that's not that's not anything that you have to do because there's so much other, other things going on, but since we are um, matching our papers to our, um, our, our piece right here, I wanted to show you how to do it. It's pretty super easy. So what you wanna do is to take your cardstock and let's do it with, um let's do it with this one all right we'll work on this card for today all right so we're gonna take this mm, no let's not let's work on this one all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this and we're going to fold this in just like that so you've got one side that's folded and the other side that isn't when you're working with this you're actually going to work with them making sure that if there is a design on it that the design is going in the same direction. So let me just show you this one. Uh, let's see, I've got some others cut out, I think. 
let me see. So this one right here, the one that we did, this had a design where the little people had to be up. You didn't want them upside down on your card, right? So what you want to do is to make sure it's correct in front of you, and then you're going to take and you're going to put them together because I'm going to tell you I've done this, and it just it makes me giggle but makes me mad at the same time. I've done it like this, and when you go to do that, what ends up happening is, is that you've got... Um, uh, two sides that are going the same way. So this, let me just take two of these and I'll show you what I mean. I think I've got two cut out here. Yeah. So what, what I mean is if I didn't cut these um, opposite, okay, so these two are cut opposite. They were mirrored together like this. I cut them out and then I laid them like this. If I were to do it the other way, um, they would both end up being like this, and I wouldn't have one this side. It would be like this, all right? So they have to be mirrored, okay, unless you have something like this, which doesn't have an up and down or sideways pattern, all right? So I, I know I kind of went on on this one. This one does have um, an image. See how the little skater is there and the little... Um, gnome guy is there so the the one with the lantern so this one would make a difference this one not so much because there isn't a pattern that you have an up and a down on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put these together I'm going to fold in one of my sides okay and then what I'm going to do is line that up with this point right here and this point right here with this and this so that's going to get lined up right there and that one's going to get lined up right there. And then what I'm going to do, okay, is to take my pencil and I'm just going to lightly pencil in from here to here, okay? Now, it's going to, it should be even right here and it should be even right here because this is a two inch panel, all right? So now what we're going to do is to take our cutter and we're going to take and cut a quarter of an inch off on each side, on all four sides. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's turn this around. I'm going to take my cutter. It's lined up in the little well right there, but I want to go over a quarter inch more. So I'm lining up my pencil mark here to here. Okay, and cut. Let me just line that back up again here okay all right so there's my first cut let's do both sides both diagonal sides first all right so I'm lining it up in the well and moving it over one quarter of an inch all right so my court my um, mark is here and here all right if you have, and I know this has happened to every single one of you, if you start your um, your machine and, and it uh, kind of wrinkles your paper, start it in the middle and then go back and forth. That's the way you should do it all the time, but um, we don't always do that. All right, so then we're going to take and take our straight edge and we're going to cut that off. Start it in the middle, okay? And we're going to take and cut off a quarter inch here. Now, I did an eighth of an inch on the other ones, but this one I wanted to show it just a little bit more. And I can also take and put another layer underneath there. So if I wanted a red layer, okay? So if I wanted a red layer, I would put the red layer first, all right? And then I would take and put this. And that's the way this one is going to be. That's why I cut off a quarter of an inch. If you weren't gonna do that, you would just cut off an eighth of an inch on all four sides, all right? because that would give you, <clears throat> excuse me, a total of a quarter of an inch. Am I totally like making you crazy? But isn't that pretty? All three of those colors, it brings out every color in this beautiful paper. So that's the way this one's gonna end up. That's why I, I cut off a quarter of an inch. So now we're gonna do that the same. I should have cut these together. You can actually cut these together and I didn't, but I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. So all I have to do for this one and remember, they have to be mirrored. Don't make a mistake and do this, all right? They have to be mirrored. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take my pencil. And now if I was doing this together, which is what I do normally, I would have just taken some of my repositionable adhesive. That's this, but with the green one in it. 
um, and I would have just glued these temporarily together and then cut them but I didn't do it that way so there we go all right start in the middle cut that off remember I'm taking off a quarter of an inch but you don't have to do that you can take off let's do this one next um, you can take off an eighth of an inch and then there we go then we're going to cut off our two ends quarter and quarter oops no this one all i have to do is i have to do two of them okay because i lined it up i lined that one up on the uh on the the uh, actual line of the original one all right so there is that one and here is this one and they are mirrored again this one it doesn't matter because um this one doesn't matter because it doesn't have a real um prominent uh, image on it that needs to be straight up and down all right so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to glue them on here and i'm not going to do that to this one because remember i'm going to do that one with um a different um picture i'm going to do that with uh the red and the 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 red and the pattern on top of the green all right so like i said you, there's all kinds of possibilities all right so here's this little guy right here and now all we have to do is to add our um layers to it so for this one right here i'm going to take and add um this right here so when you go to do this you can definitely do a couple of different things you can take and you can only glue it on one side so when it opens up you can open it up that way but that kind of defeats the um that kind of defeats the whole purpose of this house card okay this trifold house card so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to take and put some of your glue only on one side because there's no sense in overkill unless you really want to you can put it on that side too but then we're going to smack these two little guys together okay just glue them together making sure everything is nice and straight i love this glue it dries really fast all right so here's our glue all right so the next thing that we're going to do while that is drying just a little bit more okay i like to take and put um either clothes pins I happen to I don't have a clothes pin up here right now but um, I'm gonna put one of these on here okay and that'll just keep it closed and it'll keep it nice and glued and it'll be awesome all right so the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this one because that's matching the paper I don't know if you saw it or not but um, for this one right here it has matching papers to her okay see isn't she cute and then for this one we've got the little um the little gnome guy on there so let's just take our adhesive add it to i love love these nesting dies they are just so pretty i'll color him afterward um you don't need to watch me color but uh I wanted to show you a couple different things so these are our nesting dies and what i did for this was um, i cut this out and obviously you can see i cut out a word because i just love this is going to go on here like this and um if you I, I just love to show this okay so that normal perfect i always do that you've always seen me do this but i also like to to not waste anything and i had to cut out um, a circle that was um just a little bit smaller than this one okay the oval the next size oval down which was the white one i had this piece left over and it was just a, a rectangle i cut out another one and if you add it to your piece just like this it gives you the most beautiful little frame all the way around it it looks better when there's not a hole in it and there is another um, you want to make it smaller than this one so it would actually be the third one down and you would add a little piece to that oh it's just so pretty but what this does is it frames your little um your little frame it frames your frame all right so the other thing i wanted to show you is if you have um any of these uh silhouette dies you know so it has words but it also has a silhouette to it you can take and 
um, cut out. What I did was I cut out um, the silhouette with the darker color, because remember, I'm working on uh, this card right here. So it's got all of these pieces, and it's got these pieces. Um, so I'm working on this card right here. Um, but what I wanted to show you is um, you can take and add the silhouette. I would move this little piece up just a little bit and then add this so I would put glue right here and right here and then just lay this down here. Oh, it's so pretty. So what I would do again is just move this up just a little bit and then add this anywhere you want on the bottom because when it sits up, um, it, it doesn't get in the way of anything and when it folds, it folds perfectly, okay? So that's just another little added piece that you can do, all right? And I think we're ready to put this little guy on. I just wanted to show you where it goes. All right, so here we have, let's pop that in there like that. So when you're ready to stand it up, it just stands up like that, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this. So let me just show you again. I would put this up here like this. You don't wanna go above the little um, top of the house, but then what you would do is take one of your silhouette greetings and put it right down here at the bottom like that. This does not match in color. That's why I'm not putting it on here. But other than that, I would have done that. But look at that, how pretty that is. See? I might even do that. I might take and cut one out of the green. Um, I've already um, wasted that paper. Um, but I will do it. I, I think I am going to do it. So that would go just like that. Okay? And then it still stands up. It still lays, it still lays flat. I love this card. So when you go to glue this, obviously you don't want to put glue all the way around. So what I like to do is to just put the glue on the sides generously. All right, and you could use your tape runner if you want to. Um, if you've got some strong tape runner, um, you could do that. If not, I suggest using um, your liquid glue. All right, so I'm gonna lay that down flat so that I can send, oh, I wanna put it all the way to the top because I am gonna put, um, I am gonna put the uh, sentiment on the bottom here. So let me just grab my little clothespins so that this can dry, all right? while I'm talking to you, all right? And then, like I said, the little the little season's greetings would go right there, and then it all just pops up. It all fits in into an envelope, and it's so cool. Remember to hop on over to uh, my blog to get that PDF. It's so easy. Um, you just know that um, we love having you visit us. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and share it with your friends, all right? You have a great day, and thank you so much for stopping by. Let me just bring in my, my little card again. This is the finished one. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a rocket. Um, maybe something out of Star Wars. Sorry about that. Anyway, you have a great day. Thank you for stopping by.